I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. Onslaught asks about muscle memory as it relates to changing your workout up for better growth. He says, Steve, do you have to change your workout up every once in a while to shock the muscle to keep it growing, even if you keep the intensity the same? I mean, we've heard that, right? Now I'm going to shock the muscle. I need to mix it up so the muscles and your body doesn't get used to the workout and it stops growing. That's not quite accurate. You have to remember that our muscles are growing simply because they are being overworked. They are being contracted harder or more consistently or more intensely or more numerously than they were contracted before. We are simply trying to overload that muscle so it can compensate and return and repair itself so it's bigger and stronger. But you got to remember this. When your muscles flex, your body moves. But you know what? Your body moves in a certain range of motion, in a certain direction, and that's about it. So therefore, there are only certain types of exercises that you can do for each body part. I mean, chest is a pressing motion, or an angular pressing motion, or some type of hugging or flying motion. That's about it. So when I hear guys say, yeah, no, Steve, I'm not going to work out with you. I'm going to uh, do something different today. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. To me, they're going, Steve, I don't want to work out with you today because I don't feel like training that hard. I'm just going to come over here and do some pec deck stuff instead of handling the 100-pound dumbbells for flies. That's too much work today. That's fine. But remember, anything that is more difficult to do is going to create more growth. So that means if you can squeeze out a couple extra reps, if you can handle more weight, if somebody can spot you, you're going to have more growth because it's more difficult to do. That's why free weights are always going to give you better results than machines or cables or things of that nature. Now, if you can't use free weights, like if you can't squat, leg press works too. Guys say, what about, you know, Dumbbell curls, would that be better than cable curls? Yes, absolutely, because you don't get any leverage or mechanical advantage. The weight you're lifting is the weight you're lifting. So with regards to changing your workout up so you create shock and trauma on the muscle, that's not true. If I'm doing the best exercises I can for each muscle group, and those exercises allow me to train heavy, train hard, they're free weights, what am I going to substitute them with? The only thing I can substitute them with are exercises that are less efficient or less effective. Now, if you want to mix it up once in a while just to keep your sanity, I get that. But you know what? Bench press, still the best. Incline bench press, still the best. You want to mix it up and do some hammer strength or Smith machine? That's fine. Do that for long enough, your bench press will go down. That's just the way it is. You know, if you substitute barbell curls for standing cable curls or machine curls, your arms aren't going to get worked as much, you're not going to be as strong, you might not get as big. But that's the concept that you always have to remember. It's not shocking the muscle. It's like, oh my gosh, my mu we haven't done this before? Oh my gosh, the biceps have never moved in this direction before. Hey, you know, once in a while if you change the angle on something, it might create a little bit of trauma and it makes you sore. Okay, great. But you got to remember, your body's going to adapt to the type of stress you place it under. Anything that limits you from handling heavy weight is going to limit you from getting as big as you potentially could be. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart. Train hard.